In this video I want to talk about why I see some advantages in more modern reef setups with a very clean design. You maybe have seen some pictures of older tanks where a lot of live rocks was used to bring a lot of biology into the aquariums. In my opinion with today's technology this is no longer necessary and even brings some danger. For this video I visit Peter because I think his tank is the perfect example for exactly this topic. The first thing you maybe notice is that Peter's aquarium doesn't have any sand in it. Personally I have to say that I always prefer aquariums with sand because they just look more natural and also in my new aquarium a sand bottom will be included again especially for my races because they sleep in the sand. However if you have reef rocks in your aquarium you create a sufficient place for biology and just like Peter here you can successful in this hobby without using sand. For example, phosphate deposits can build up in the sand, destabilizing the aquatic biology. Also, it is often not easy to bring flow into areas in the aquarium with sand, because the sand is carried away from the pumps. Peter installed a flow pump here, which works directly to the bottom, because without sand it doesn't matter at all. This way he creates a perfect flow in his aquarium and he has no dead areas. Also corals placed on the bottom get enough water movement. I think this is really an important point. Peter has also adapted his reef construction by a very airy and clean design so that every area can be well fluid through. So he has no clumsy stone mounds in which uncontrollable areas can form. Peter's reef construction is very filigree but still provides enough space for corals and hiding places for smaller fish. Another advantage for such a setup is the extended swimming place for fish. If you bring too much stones into your tank you give this space away again. Through this reef construction Peter is able to react quickly to problems because he can recognize them better. What do you think of such clean reef setups like this? Feel free to let me know in the comments if you want to enjoy weekly content about the hobby of saltwater aquaristic. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again next week.